Between 1990 and 2010, 25 million Americans lost their religion. At the same time, they also began spending 400 bajillion hours a day on the internet. Coincidence? I don't know. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. As religiosity in America continues to fall at a pretty dramatic rate, scientists have been asking, huh, why? In a new study published by MIT's Technology Review, the findings are a little shocking. Brace yourself. They found that the internet itself may be responsible for a part of the decline of faith. Using the University of Chicago's General Social Survey, computer scientist Alan Downey tracked the religious affiliation of thousands of Americans against other variables like religious upbringing, income, education, and how much time you spend online. So here's what he found. The strongest predictor of religious affiliation was being raised in that religion. So if you grew up Catholic or whatever, this is the best predictor of being Catholic as an adult. Downey's statistics suggest similarly that more people are being raised without a strong religious affiliation. So this is responsible for about 25% of the drop in religiosity. Another 5% of the drop is attributed to the rise in college education, which has been happening over the same period. Those with a higher education are less likely to call themselves religious. And then the controversial portion, he found the second big drop of 25% is directly correlated with time spent online, a category of person which was basically non-existent in the 80s, which is a really interesting thing to think about. Could the internet really be a catalyst for people losing their faith? Apparently, yes. But it should be noticed that this is a correlation, not a causation, a scientific mantra that must be repeated ad nauseum. Basically, we can't conclude that the internet causes people to lose their faith just yet, but we can definitely observe a strong pattern that's occurring there. What might the internet have to do with it? One theory is that the internet makes it easy for people with very different beliefs to connect personally, to communicate, and challenge the strength of their beliefs. Being more exposed to other ideologies also breaks people out of the insulated bubble of their own physical communities, where that wasn't possible before the web. The internet also provides a vast body of information about all different types of belief systems, which creates more of a demand to question your own. Of those belief systems that people are getting more information about is a non-religious worldview, which is becoming a more well-known and accessible alternative to more traditional belief systems. Now, it's all really interesting to me, and even more so that there's still about 50% of the religiosity drop that's unaccounted for. So down below, what do you think? Will the internet make atheists of us all? Or could the internet be used to promote religious faith as well? Thanks for joining me, folks. I'll see you next time.